I want you guys to take a moment and think about what your experiences were with music. Think about a road trip with family, a school dance, or even a dinner party. I'll tell you about my personal experience with music. It was when my, my uncle and aunt got married back in February 2015. I remember sitting in the church from the moment they finished getting married to the moment we rose from the pews and we went outside on the coldest day of the year. Now, unfortunately, my mom was kind of ticked off that we had to wait outside for the limo to pick us up so we could go to a dinner party later on in the day. And she was, she was angry because I I just got over a cold, so just being in the cold again is just going to be such a danger for me. So I said, you know what, I'm going to just wait inside this church for you to pick me up. And believe me, if things were getting worse right there, they weren't. I, I had the day of my life later on in that day. We went in the limo, they dropped us off at this beautiful hall with the most delicious foods we could ever eat. I remember we were, my cousin, my grandparents, and I were in the waiting room. And after a few minutes of being in the waiting room, I heard muffled music from a dance room nearby. And the anticipation just started to build up, and I started to do this. And I started humming to myself. And I, until the point where I just couldn't take it anymore, I grabbed my cousin's hand dance floor room, and even though it wasn't time yet, I didn't care. Now, the reason for this was, I had to wait in the waiting room, first of all, for my uncle and aunt to get married and make their grand entrance for a dance party. But the fact that I heard muffled music in the background, I, I just couldn't help myself. I, I really love music. But that's not all. My favorite song at the time was um, Uptown Funk by Bruno Mars. <laughs> and towards the end of the night, when everybody was leaving, the janitors are coming in, cleaning up after food, putting the garbage away, they decided to play that song. So my mom and I danced the night away to the end of that song. Now, music is great, isn't it? I mean, what a way to end off a good night. Knowing all of this, Imagine what I just told you went away tomorrow. Music is gone. There's eighth note go there's an eighth note going from the perfection sign. There's no more famous radio stations like WPLJ, KTU. There's there's no more Mr. Softy music on the streets. There's no more humming, there's no more rhythm, there's no more tapping, there's no, there's no more anything to do with music. The government just doesn't see a need for it. Now, for a majority of people, they'll fight for, they'll fight against this ban for music. However, a minority will not. These are people known as musical anadenics. Yes, they make up three to five percent of the world's population today. And personally. I, I truly feel bad for them because if you don't <laughs> if you don't know what anhedonia is, it's a condition where you you can't experience, you can't experience pleasure. You just your, their brains don't light up like we do with pleasure and everything. So musical anhedonia has to do with not pleasuring music. Life without music is like life without emotional connection. Without music, we wouldn't be able to connect with people on a personal level. You ever, you ever get that feeling where you're in the car riding with someone and you hear your favorite song on the radio with them and you get all lovey-dovey for each other? For my family, it's Toto's Africa. <laughs> we sing.
feelings for each other. Music is a universal language. It's, it's, not, a, it's not like a language you can learn. It's just a language from within. It comes with you. It's not like you have to study something like Spanish or Japanese. It's just something that comes from within. That's all I have to say about that. Life without music is like life without learning. People say that when you set your minds to music, Remember stuff better than when you don't. Well, a Penn State study was done a couple of years ago where these teachers wanted their students to learn the content they had just taught. The students who sang about the new content remembered it better than those who didn't. I remember back in kindergarten, my teacher gathered us around a circular area in the front of the room where the trolla was on a stool that would play nursery rhyme music. Anything imagine, like any elementary song imaginable, from weather songs to math songs. And towards the end of the year, our teacher made us a CD that we were able to take home and have forever. Now folks, I still have this CD. Though I've grown out of it, I still use it. You know why? Because I have a little sister now who's just about in a couple of years to start kindergarten. And every time I take it out, she goes wild and she goes happy. And I get to live a nostalgic moment of just dancing to those songs. Because, listen, my teacher, <laughs> she picked a, um, some good nursery songs. Though they're for kids, they still got some pretty sick people. Lovely ra lady right here to the far uh, left is my grandma. She goes to Zumba class, which is a dance class. Every every Wednesday, she tries to at least. And let me tell you, she's just like me. She loves music. She loves to dance, and she enjoys it. And I I would have to thank her because that's probably where I get my passion for music from. Now here's something I've been wondering for a while now. We all have bell systems, right, at schools? The occasional dong, rain. Well, what if we dedicated a radio song, any type of song from the radio, for a day of the week, each week, for students to listen to? Like I'm saying, maybe Monday's bell schedule will have Hey Ya by Outcast. Tuesday would have Black Eyed Peas song. Wednesday would be a Rob Bass song. And if people are having a bad day and they hear their favorite song on the bell system, don't you think it might change their moods? It might make them feel better? They might see something good in that day if, they're not, if, if the day's not turning out well for them. I think it would. It gives zestiness in our life, and without it, where will we be today? Thank you. <laughs>